When did you learn how to change a tire? Uh, every self-respecting gentleman should know how, in case he comes across a damsel in distress by the side of the road. If I see one scorpion, I am getting on someone's shoulders and never coming down. Mm, there's your damsel. <laughs> wow, this one's really stuck. Are you turning it the right way? No. I took the other four off, and when I got to this one, I thought, no, I'm going to rut. Let's shake things up. Well, here, let me try. You're right, it doesn't turn the other way. What are you doing? It's called Lamaze breathing. It helps you push. Great, he's pushing with his uterus. It's gotta be a smarter way of removing it. Yeah, this is nothing more than a physics problem. Right. Archimedes once said, give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it and I shall move the world. Of course. All we need is to find stuff to make a lever big enough to fix this. Exactly. I'll bet there's something around here that could be a lever. Let's see, a lever. A lever. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let's take this problem one step at a time. First, we need to decide whether we're calling it lever or lever. <laughs> And the sooner we decide it's lever, the sooner we can roll up our sleeves, not slavs, and get to work. We're gonna be here for Ever. I don't think the lever's working. What makes you say that? There's gotta be something else we can try. Well, if this was Star Trek, we could use a phaser to blast it off too broad of a beam. You need something more precise, like Superman's heat vision. Oh, the Green Lantern's ring can make a big green hand that unscrews it. If you need a green hand, why not just use the Hulk? Oh, please. The Hulk would never get across the border with that temper. Guys, excuse me. Not that calling one of the Avengers isn't a perfectly reasonable choice, but we're scientists. Don't you think we can figure this out using actual science? Yes, we could use science, but it's your bachelor party. Lighten up. Percussive shock you. <laughs> we will, we will percussive shock you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. <laughs> I have an eidetic memory. Sometimes it's a curse. <laughs> I had no idea tortilla chips are such a good fuel source. They're basically pure hydrocarbons soaked in fat. Let's hope the lead nut expands. What if that burning food attracts animals? We have plenty of food for the animals. We do? Yep. Six foot wiener in a flash t-shirt. <laughs> That's not very nice. It's a bachelor party. Lighten up. <laughs> What is that awful smell? It's burning salsa. I'm hoping the acidity and salinity combined with electricity will corrode the lug nut off. What an innovative solution. Now, perhaps I don't give your MIT education enough credit. Yeah, I saw it on Mythbusters. <laughs> All right, this rust combined with the aluminum recovered from the van is now thermite. All right, a couple... Pinches ought to do the trick. Is that enough to melt the lug nut? Well, let's start small. We can always add more. You put up a good fight, lug nut. But you've met your match. <laughs>